chapter 9, we're going to talk about a chemical bonding model, the Lewis model. And you should have learned about this in your previous chemistry classes. A um, little piece of history here, which kind of helps us understand why bonding models are important. So back in 1989, the structure of HIV protease was determined. This is a protein that HIV synthesizes um, as a part of its life cycle. Um, because the structure was determined, then research were, researchers were able to uh, look at that structure and de design different molecules that would bind to the active site on that enzyme. And so um, they were able to find some drugs that can be used to basically stop HIV in its tracks. It doesn't cure HIV, but it can stop it from replicating and reduce viral levels to undetectable levels, which is awesome. And bonding theories were used in this. So bonding theories can be very, very useful. Bonding theories explain how atoms bond together to form molecules. We can answer questions like, why is this molecule stable? Why is this other molecule not stable? Helps us to predict things about molecules, what shape the molecule is. The shape of a molecule determines a lot of its chemical and physical properties. So there are several different bonding models. And as with many things, you get a trade-off between complexity and um, predictive power. So it's more useful if it's more complex, but then it's also harder to understand. So we're gonna look at the Lewis model first. This is the simplest one. It's great for quick predictions, works a lot of the time. Um, here we represent valence electrons as dots, and so the structures are called Lewis electron dot structures. Um, we can predict shapes of molecules and whether a molecule is likely to be stable.